Hey guys, one second here bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and so today we got this new event as part of the part 3 celebration, Rampaging Power Destructive Instinct. This is the event that was mentioned in the news um, where we can unlock a bunch of wallpapers um, and it's based on the damage that you deal. So from looking at the details of the event, it is basically like a punching bag event. Um, you get 8 turns. Uh, enemies' defense will be lowered with each attack received. Launch multiple attacks and aim to deal a great amount of damage. Um, and then it says here, right, you can get the missions, get a bunch of Kai's and some stones. But as it says here, there are eight turns in the battle. The enemy characters will not perform actions, such as attacking. Items and support memories are not allowed. The highest value of the damage that can be displayed is obviously the 9999. Uh, uh, Dragon Stones will not be rewarded or for clearing the stage for the first time. So you don't. it's not like the normal events where you get one st stone for just beating the stage for the first time. I don't know why. Maybe because it's... Well, no, even some of the other ones that cost zero do that. That's weird. Um, but there are a whole bunch of missions. So beat the stage once. Beat the stage with Paragus on the team. Beat the stage with a movie boss's character on the team. And then we have the rewards for dealing various damage. So 10 million gets you the first wallpaper. 50 million gets you the second one. Then obviously we have a bunch of stones as well. And then 99.99 million or more gets you the final wallpaper. So you can't bring nuking units in. So it's not like one of those punching bag events where you just bring a nuking leader, bring a bunch of orb changers and then hope for the best, right? Because the characters with the nuking leader skills um, are actually banned. So in terms of who is the best team to actually do this with, I'm not really sure. Um, movie boss characters, it seems, are getting a buff. Um, although so are they. Is it pure Saiyans, maybe? Yeah, maybe it's just pure Saiyans are getting a buff then. Because, yeah, no non-pure Saiyan characters are showing up with the uh, arrows. Okay, so pure Saiyans units are getting a buff in this event. Um, I need to bring a unit that's going to have, like, big explosive damage, though. So, I mean, it really just feels like you just bring the Broly team, right? <laughs> like, Broly team with the new Super Easy A Broly. We've got the Tech Broly. Like, this team we know can do a lot of damage in the right circumstances. Now, it's interesting because you can't use items. So, it's like, how do we get up to that highest threshold? I guess we'll see. Um, so, there's five enemies and they don't attack you okay so do we just do this then um so we'll get two rainbow orbs for you go ahead and do this and then grab these for you i suppose yeah we shouldn't really be attacking gohan should we if broly's uh str but we'll see how much damage he's gonna do off the bat none nice okay we did 20 mil 25 mil the AGL enemies, funnily enough, we don't do damage if we don't crit, but that makes sense. So 25 mil, that's off his first attack before he gets like any build up or anything. So 42 mil on the additional. <laughs> All right, yeah, so STR Broly seems like a unit that's going to be very good for this. Because that's him with basically no build up. And we, we've already gotten to the 50 million mark. Um, so once we've gotten a couple more supers and he's actually built up, on the next rotation, we'll be able to activate Imp Broly's Domain. Um, but obviously, you want to bring, like, the big hitters, right? So characters like Tech Broly, uh, the Easy A one. I mean, the new one as well, to be fair. Um, and also, bear in mind, as it said in the thing, like, the enemies get their defense lowered with each attack received. So we should really be focusing on... We'll focus a lot of our attacks on Piccolo for the next turn, because he's physical. Lower his defense a whole bunch with the units that are on the next turn. And then when STR Super Easy A Broly comes back again, um, we'll be able to get all of the uh, get all of the damage. The only thing I should have done, I should have thrown uh, Paragus on the team, although he doesn't get a leader skill, but the enemy doesn't attack. So that doesn't even matter. So this one run, we would be able to do all the missions if Paragus was on the team. Um, plus you get eight turns, so... It's not like the punching bag thing where it's like if you don't do it in like the two rotations, then you've the, the event ends. You get eight turns. So I feel like this is going to be really easy. But I don't know. Maybe I am like underestimating it or something. But let's go ahead and target. Well, you don't get to attack anyway, so it doesn't matter. But we'll target Piccolo. In fact, let's target you since your defense has been lowered so much. And see how much damage Tech Broly will actually do here. 
And then you, we're not worried about doing damage to you with Int Broly. We're just lowering your defense ready for STR Broly on the next turn. So 40 million turn one for Tech Broly against the Goku who's been defense lowered multiple times now. So yeah, there you go. So literally on turn three, Tech LREZA Broly is able to hit that damage cap. So, you know, I know people have like struggled with the punching bag event for ages because there's so much RNG involved and stuff like that. But I mean, I know obviously my EZA Broly is rainbow, but he's an old unit, right, at this point. Um, and yeah, he's done it. He's hit the damage cap on the third turn. <laughs> so hopefully this shouldn't be too difficult. If you have units like Cell Max, who's obviously doing an AoE as well, um, even the Int Broly with the EZA, like he's not hitting super hard with each attack to start off with. But obviously he's getting all those um, attacks in. And obviously Cell Max does an AoE as well. In fact, we could do this, right? Start off the turn by attacking with you. Soften up Piccolo's defense even more. Then we get four Rainbow Orbs, so we're getting the guaranteed crits. Um, and then let's go ahead and do... I mean, Cell Max, actually, let's target Piccolo just to see, because he's going to have his defense super lowered at this point. And Cell Max hits everybody with his super anyway. But in this one run, it means we can potentially see multiple units that are able to hit that damage cap and beat the mission in one go. So just make sure you don't do what I did and forget to put Paragus on the team, because the event lasts for eight turns. You can't beat it early, so... Basically, I'm going to have to redo this afterwards and throw Paragus on the team. Although, realistically, I can just put it on auto because I'll have already completed all the other missions. Because we got the 999999999 million damage already. So, yeah. So, Broly up to 20 mil. STR super easy, eh, Broly? Attacking Piccolo, who's been defense lowered multiple times. 84 million crit. Then bear in mind he's going to get an additional, which is going to increase his attack even more. He's getting guaranteed crits at this point as well. So is this going to be enough to push him up to the 99 from 84? 89. So he might not hit it then, at least not this time. Um, this is with the domain buff, no other support. Like if Turles was on the rotation, I think that would be enough to push him to the max. Yes, he got to 97. I mean, if we get the hidden potential additional... Ah, we didn't. If we got the hidden potential additional, that would have been the 99 million. So STR Broly can do it with the right RNG. Cell Max, obviously, he's not really built up yet. So not really surprising that he's not. I mean, he's still hitting around 60 million on crits against these guys, though. So that's definitely very, very good. Um, this Piccolo has been attacked so many times. They must have, like, zero defense at this point. But yeah, we still have multiple turns left. So, I mean, a lot of these units are going to hit this damage cap fairly easily. Um, I mean, Tech Broly, <laughs> especially with, like, the active skill turn, he should ease... I mean, he did it in, in base. In, well, Super Saiyan, obviously, but the base form of the card. He did it in base, so he's going to be doing it here. Let's do it without the active skill and see. Um, so, you're going to do your AoE to start with. Obviously, you need to build up a little bit. We'll do this. We're getting the support from Turles as it is anyway. So, let's see what the Teles army actually hit, gets up to here as well. They're not going to be hitting that 99, like, too easily, I don't think. But, also, all these AoEs on the team mean that you're softening up all the other units. So then when you are, like, for example, when we're targeting Piccolo with the STR units, we're already weakening the other characters on the team, ready for our other units to then start laying into them. 58 million <laughs> for Tech Broly. Hmm, I wonder if this will do the uh, will do the damage cap or not. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, additional 12 key at 35. I wouldn't be surprised if this did as well, if he crits, to be honest. Yup. <laughs> so Tech Broly just absolutely destroying Goku. I wonder if you can actually kill him. Like, bear in mind, the mission is to just get 99.999 once. That Broly just did it three times by himself in the one turn. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is definitely a go-to team for this, I think, with just the sheer amount of damage you can do. I mean, the Turles army even doing 66 million to this Piccolo is a pretty considerable amount, like all things considered. So, yeah, 12.6. So, yeah, this event definitely not particularly difficult. Um... It just goes on for a bit long. Because that's what's kind of funny. 
about this compared to the punching bag one is obviously now like we've already beaten all of the missions <laughs> so like realistically there's no real reason for the event to continue but obviously we are gonna keep going here we'll transform you let's see if we can actually kill goku well i feel like that is potentially possible i am kind of intrigued to see whether actually full power broly can get the damage cap as well so let's attack trunks and then we'll get you to attack goku and see what we're looking like here so yeah he's up to 23 million now we've got the four rainbow orbs again so 83 61 62 62 yeah around the same type advantage obviously giving us a little bit extra against piccolo as well um yeah, so STR Broly, unfortunately, wasn't quite able to get there in the one attack. Um, but yeah, Tech Broly, unsurprisingly. Tech LR Broly, definitely like an MVP for this mission. Um, obviously, with having eight turns, they've probably done it like that on purpose, right? So you can build up that much. But with eight turns, that means you can fully charge the Family Kamehameha active skill. Um, so if you're doing that targeting the rest of your characters on attacking piccolo to keep lowering his defense oh there you go he did hit the 99 let's go um yeah keep targeting piccolo to lower his defense fully charge the family come home half for five turns and then fire that off against piccolo um mine's only 55 percent, but i think at that point if you've picked up enough orbs you're pretty much guaranteed to get the uh 999 um then you could do like the boo duo get the full five turns of charging up the spirit bomb um, there's quite a lot of options because the event gives you eight turns so you have so many different ways you could get the uh a bunch of characters charged up and then of course you know with the broly team we don't really need to get the characters uh built up that much the fact that tech broly in the super saiyan like base form hit the 99 mil against that goku on turn three is kind of crazy um and then yeah obviously agl broly doing a lot of damage here did we actually kill Goku? Oh, of course, yeah, he does an AoE. <laughs> uh, yep, so I wonder if we can actually end the event early by killing everyone. I genuinely don't know, but that would be, uh, that'd be pretty funny. 70 mil. Yeah, his 12 key being an AoE is quite funny, because, yeah, we're just hitting everyone. 52 million crit. Like, even though we're not getting the 99, the fact that these guys do so much extra damage on top of that to everybody else is kind of funny. Um, and yeah, there's no Goku for you to attack anymore, so you can attack Gohan. Um, can we get it with you? No crit, we still got 52. Alright, well, pretty good. Um, so, I guess we just go... Oh man, I, I really want to actually just kill them all now. Because <laughs> I don't think you have to, right? I mean, it, it would be difficult to, I guess, depending on the team that you're running. So you definitely don't have to, but I really want to. <laughs> so we'll active skill with you, which with the amount of damage reduction, uh, defense reduction he's had, I think may kill Piccolo. Let's see. No, I only got 45 mil. Okay. Not as much as I would have thought, but that's all right, because we can get the AoE with you. You can target you, I guess. And then... I mean, Cell Max is obviously going to hit everybody anyway, so let's just do that. So, I mean, this should be a pretty big turn here. Tech Broly, of course, builds up with each 18 key super. So, 25 mil AoE. Um, 68 mil to Piccolo. Yes, yeah, that's a lot of damage. It's funny, obviously, if it was cumulative, it would be way too easy. But, yeah, 78 million for tech broly here so there's the 999 against gohan yeah i think you'd have to get pretty lucky with like type advantage characters repeatedly hitting the numbers to get like to actually kill everyone but yeah see broly with the additional 12 key he was getting the 99 against goku without needing to crit because of the type advantage but he needs to crit against gohan but then he still does it <laughs> which is crazy 42 million damage normals as well like, I think everyone on the uh, opposing, like, team has their defense lowered to zero at this point, right? So, because everyone's been hit so many times. Piccolo's still hanging in there, though. Come on, Cell Max. Finish him off. 
But yeah, let me know how you guys got on down below in the comment section. Um, the big hard hitting boys is what you want. The Broly units especially are going to go absolutely crazy in this run. Um, can we get four rainbows with you? Maybe if I do this first. No, we can still only get three. Well, that's fine. I probably shouldn't really be attacking uh, Gohan with the AGL Broly either, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Of course, he does have a decent chance to crit in the transformed state anyway, so... Which I, I say, of course, and then he doesn't. Should have attacked Trunks. Not that it matters, like I say, we don't need to actually kill the enemies, we just need to beat the event, which we will do in a couple of turns. Imagine if we get to that point, though, <laughs> at the end of the next turn, and it's like, oh, you lose because you didn't kill them all. I, d I don't think you have to, but... Because obviously, like, with the punch bag events and stuff, it's pretty much... It's impossible to kill them, especially in the two turns, because they have so much HP. But we have been doing insane damage um, across the board with uh, this team. And, of course, AGL Broly. So many AoE characters. I always forget that AGL Broly has an AoE as his 12, uh, 12 key once you've transformed. Because, obviously, in most difficult events, by the time you get Broly to be transformed... Like, most of these events don't have multiple enemies at that point, right? So, not really used to seeing him hitting AoEs on everybody. Twenty-seven point four for STR Broly. God damn! Didn't get the three. Uh, we only got three Rainbow Orbs. He's not getting guaranteed crits. But did he kill Gohan? Yeah, I think he did. <laughs> Killed Gohan with that crit. You love to see it. And then Tonle's army. I mean, you can complete a decent amount of the missions even if you can't hit 999. Like with this team, the amount of characters that have been able to hit over 50 million. So you should be able to complete a decent amount of the missions like with some good RNG. Gohan is still hanging in there by a thread, apparently. So I guess we will just go ahead and... Uh, I guess we do this in case we get crits. Just target the Vegeta. Because everybody else is going to do AoEs. Well, I say everyone. In fact, you won't, will you? So we'll do that. And then we'll do that. Alright, so final turn. And then the event ends. We've beaten every single mission in one run. Except for bringing Paragus on the team. Just because I stupidly forgot to do it. So now I'm going to have to redo it. But I'm still going to call the video how to beat all the missions. Because... You, you literally just have to put Paragus on the team. <laughs> he doesn't even need to do anything. The enemy doesn't attack. So you're not at risk of him getting you killed. Um, but yeah, this Broly team just absolutely ridiculous when it comes to damage output. So this is the team you want to be running. Um, you know, you can run units like Tech LR Broly on a pure Saiyans team or a Super Saiyans team. So you don't even need to have like the new Broly or the new Broly team set up. Um, you could still use units like Tech LR Broly uh, very effectively, um, especially because, like I say, you just use these eight turns, wear down the character who your main damage dealer is going to have type advantage over, and then they start getting off their attacks. And I mean, you saw turn three, that Tech Broly did 999 damage to the AGL Goku. So as long as you're targeting the right enemies, very, very easy. Yeah, only Vegeta survived with the tiniest sliver of health. <laughs> so then the event ends we can go ahead and hit the clear um and then yeah collect all of our rewards now i will say and you guys can let me know what you think down below in the comment section but i saw a lot of people saying they're very disappointed by the wallpapers because the wallpaper is essentially the same png of broly but just with three different backgrounds so it's kind of like three very very similar wallpapers which I know some people are a little bit disappointed about, but I mean, as long as they look cool, that's the important thing, I guess, right? But there you go. That's all the missions cleared, except for the Paragus one, which I'll just have to redo now on auto. But yeah, let's take a look at the um, take a look at the wallpapers here. So menu wallpaper settings. So yeah, you can see we've just got like the three different backgrounds. So you've got the smashing Vegeta into the wall crater. We've got the uh, city destruction one, and then we've got the like crazy giant explosion. That's the maximum points one. I think that one might be my favorite one. 
I don't know, the crazy expression. <laughs> it's so funny. It almost looks like, because you can't see his arm, it's like Broly's taking a selfie. It's like, hey, here's me destroying <laughs> this city over here. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of the wallpapers. Let me know how you got on with the mission. Um, because of the eight turns, I feel like it shouldn't be too much of a struggle for most people. But obviously do let me know how you get on, what team builds you used, and who were your big damage dealers. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Masked Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out all the links down below, and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.